Hi YouTube, this is the video review of the Transformers Robots in Disguise X-Bron. x, -Bron. x -Bron is one of three Autobot brothers that appeared in Robots in Disguise. Um, he is the least favorite design of the th person, and he's the least favorite of the design of the three Autobot brothers, just because of his overall shape of um, his problem and all that, just doesn't really impress me that much. But, I got this off Eevee along with um, Robots in Disguise uh, Ultra Magnus, which I will be reviewing at one point, but right now I'm reviewing x -Bron. Okay, so, x -Bron is um, the oldest of the three Autobot brothers, and um, he's got some kind of, like, Texan accent or something, not quite sure, but anyway, okay. To start off, he's got multiple accessories. One is a sword which can come off his shoulder like so. So let's put this aside. Another one which is the weapon that he primarily uses in the show is um, the blaster that he has. For some reason they decided to change them into missile firing gimmicks which I don't really like cause they never did that in the show. I would have liked it. It would have been okay if uh, they just was able to be able to remove it. So okay. So, now just to fire it, so, okay, let's keep that off for now. Okay, so, another weapon that he has is attached to the front part of the grill here. Some kind of, uh, some kind of, like, dagger of sorts. Um, to place this one on, let me remember how to do this. Oh, the place this one is, uh, you pull up the thumb on his, uh, left hand, then you take this handle and put it in between. Like this, and to close it off, you just pull down, wait, one moment, a problem here. Okay, and then you just pull down the thumb like this. This is a very strange looking weapon, and it doesn't look that good on him, so I'm gonna take it off now. Let's see now. Okay, let's keep that off as well. Okay, let's just put the weapons aside here. Let's go back to the figure. Okay. He's got the standard articulation points since of a transformer that came out in the early 2000s. So let's just quickly go over them. Its head can turn 360 degrees because it's on a ball joint. But it's really tight, so I don't really do it, pull it that far. So, okay. His arms also turn 360 degrees because it's on a ball joint, but um, the back piece hinders that. This arm's a little bit more free just because it doesn't have, it gives more layaway to the full 360. Okay. He's got a shoulder joint, but I don't know. It's not really a joint. It's just kind of a shoulder, like, armor or something. Okay. His legs. have got the normal set of articulations. Turn, 360, and so on. He's got knee, uh, heel, feet pivot, too. Okay. So, now it's time to turn into vehicle mode. What you do is turn the head to the right uh, put up the arm for now close the back part this uh, the feet parts here and then let's see what to do next uh, oh yeah let's do this first you take the body push it down and then you turn the arm because this is part of transformation I'll show you again so I'm not sure if it came to the camera correctly Okay, you turn this around and turn it over to the side like that. Then you just push the arm up. Take the back piece, turn it around, and make sure it faces forward like this. Then you turn next to you. What you do is turn this around and make sure this also faces the front like, should look something like this. Okay, so now take the hand, we turn around, we place it inside the body. The front there. Okay. 
that will form the front of the car. So, what you do next is now take this front part and collapse it. So now it should be the front of the car like this. Okay, I screwed up something there. So, oh yeah. Then you take the head. Let's see if it can come in. Yeah, you take the head, push it up into the body. Make sure it's face up like that. So now for the legs, through via pegs, so you put it together, then shove the entire leg section, collapse it like that. Make sure things are aligned. Should close well. Then close things. Uh, let's see if I can. Oh yeah, these plastic parts right here go into the pegs that's on the side of the doors. And there you have Exbron. See, you have Exbron in vehicle mode. Okay, so now. We could place back the parts that we that we took off earlier for in robot mode. Just take that back and view pegs here. Here comes the part that I like about this figure. These two weapons, these two uh, missiles, actually go on the bottom of the car to become like side, like those. I'm not sure what the, what they call them, but yeah, just like okay. What you do is make sure that this one with the peg down here, the sword. There's a peg down over here as well. It pegs into the hole right here. Then it pegs also into a hole that's up here. So make sure you align them correctly. And then it should look like this. You take this piece. Oh, yeah, you take this piece. And there's a peg. There's a hole right here and a hole right there. This thing also has pegs in similar locations. Right here and right there. Then just place it in like so. Let's see. Okay. Okay, and there you have it. The full vehicle mode. It becomes some kind of like I guess some kind of minivan or something. But anyway, okay. It rolls pretty well. And what I do also like about this figure is that this figure actually has got rubber tires that um, can come off, but there's no point exactly take it off. They roll really well. The only problem about this, these rubber tires are the things that get worn over time and uh, they tear, which is one problem with the plastic rubbery tires. Okay, this mode, we clearly see a red Autobot symbol there, and yeah, it's just mainly silver and green, but anyway. I like I actually like the vehicle mode of this guy more than the robot just because I don't know, it looks pretty cool. But um Okay. Because of transformation though no, oh, one second, yeah, it falls off, but because of transformation, these doors do open. Just in case anyone wants to see the other side, okay. It does open, but it's got a lot of kibble inside. Which is not good. Especially since um you can see they had it visible in this mode, which is kinda of funny because it's like, hey, look, you can see in front of him. But, uh, anyway, this was actually in show. There was a reason. Just, like, they actually kept that head thing just like in the toy here. Um, he was able to talk to this, uh, forgot her name, but there's this lady that always, um, gets involved in the series that, um, has a lot of bad luck and just a lot of mess there for her. Okay. So, I rate this figure, like, um, an 8 out of 10, just because... I do like the vehicle mode, and the robot mode actually isn't too terrible, but I personally don't like it as much as Prowl and Sideburn. Might get Prowl and Sideburn later on, but for now, this is the only Autobot brother I have. Okay, so this is the review of Transformers Robots in Disguise x -Bron. I forgot to mention something. The hood can also open up. Let's see, yeah. The hood can also open up, which is pretty cool, actually. As much as it's all chromey inside. Yeah, so... I just wanted to add that, so yeah, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and this is Darkon633, signing out.